good morning and welcome to all of you out there and uh, welcome to the Divine Feminine Rising Prayer Circle. My name is Regina Daphne. I am back at home and it is wonderful to be home safe, secure, known quantities and uh, it's a good reminder that our home provides that for us, um, safety, security, and, um, and comfort. So when we return to the home that is eternally us, that is inside our heart, that inner knowingness, that too can provide safety, security, and comfort in knowing that you are always home and always carrying a piece of home with you wherever you go. But we are human, we are here in this physical being and um, it's important to appreciate the physical comforts and uh, that's how we relate to things and that's also how it is. I want to be home, it feels good. Today we're gonna talk about the eternal present. And uh, for me, being with the eternal present can be very peaceful, can be very safe, can be very secure. Although I did found out um, that for some people thinking of eternal peace, eternal present is actually causes her anxiety. And um, if that is the case for you, I'm going to invite you to stay in the present moment and uh, become aware of the anxiety that arises within you. and. Um, exploring what that feels like in your body and um, and just being with that and then coming back to the present moment so it's that teeter-totter um, leaning a little bit into the discomfort and then coming back to the um, present moment okay so welcome again and um, the eternal present why why even talk about it um, the eternal present is always here and to me it's a doorway a doorway into hi Jennifer um, it's a doorway into everything it's a doorway to eternity it's a doorway to appreciation of this moment it's a doorway into the universe it's a doorway into the one who knows and so um, and it can help you to see clearly and also possibly with kinder eyes and tender eyes. The beautiful um, quote from William Blake that I would like to share with you, to see a world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Eternity is here, always alive, in the present moment. A story that I really enjoy hearing was about a mother who has two twins, and a boy and a girl, and uh, she found out that they were ill with cystic fibrosis. Upon hearing that news, Every, in, every cough, every sneeze, when her child would um, cough or sneeze, she would be thinking, oh, my child is gonna die. And uh, so she was constantly living in that fear, thinking of when her child would die. And uh, when she discovered mindfulness and meditation and being with the invitation of finding the eternity in the present moment, it really gave her a sense of relief that her children are here now and we can enjoy the moment. And so if that's helpful for you, I invite you to drop into the eternal present. And now I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and practice this guided meditation. 
Closing your eyes, becoming aware of your body, sitting in a comfortable position. Be dignified and relaxed and sense yourself taking your seat at the still point of the turning world. Letting sensations, thoughts, sounds, sights appear like water pouring from a fountain or images on a screen. step outside of time. See how time, clocks, calendars, future, past, plans, and memories are all ideas created by the mind. Shift your attention. Rest as timeless loving awareness. arise out of stillness 
resting in eternity, you will naturally know how to respond, create, and embody. But the actions will arise from the one who knows. Lao Tzu, the Taoist sage, says, Remain unmoving until the right action arises by itself. consciously aware of the one who knows every action we take. And that is the invitation to be in the eternal present, the doorway to infinite wisdom and peace. Thank you so much for joining me and creating this lovely space for eternal present. Have a lovely week. And throughout the week, I'm going to invite you to connect to the one who knows. Whether it be your breath, a ding on your phone, just pausing, dropping in to the eternal present and the one who knows. Until next time, Daphne's out.